<laughs> yeah, Hasiel, Eve, that former Olympian, by the way, was talking to me when he said, you have to try it at least once, right? This morning, we are live. Yes, in Lake Placid, we're here. The snow is coming down uh, a lot more than anything that we'd be seeing in Allentown, Pennsylvania, that's for sure. Now, here behind me is the USA Luge facility. What's really exciting about this, it was built in 2020, but obviously with the way of the world right now, it's really 2022 that they're kicking things off, showing off this new facility. So you're about to see a lot of that in just a second here. And also, maybe see me learn how to luge too. Take a look. My mom saw a flyer at work one day. Uh, I got home from school. I was in sixth grade. She said, hey, you want to go try luge next weekend in Syracuse? I said, what's luge? All it took was a picture of a kid on a poster to get two-time Olympian Jason Tournament hooked on the sport. 22 years later, I'm still doing it. So it is a blast, and I suggest everybody gives it a try at least once in their life. Ah, I bet you saw this one coming. Yep, I tried it once. It's like riding a roller coaster with your eyes closed. Except you're not strapped in. Our news crew spent the day with three-time Olympian Gordy Shear and Turdeman learning the ins and outs of luge. There's different different degree of angle for each ramp. Okay. Um, the one in Beijing mostly represents the farthest, the highest, steepest one. He says it's all about consistency in the fast-moving sport, reaching speeds over 90 miles per hour. There's a saying in luge, you can't win a race at the start, but you can certainly lose it. And uh, this is where we get our practice in during the summer months. The Lake Placid facility is a brand new state of the art first and only of its kind in the U.S. The USA Luge needed an upgraded start facility and workshops. Uh, we really began the process of, of trying to understand what needed to be done uh, probably about seven years ago. It's helping the next generation of athletes make their mark and setting the standard for the challenging sport. The stresses that come with the Olympic season and qualifications and then getting to the games and then competing at the Olympics, it's, it's a, immense uh, pressure. And to get yourself through that is very difficult. Right, so after speaking to Jason yesterday, obviously this is a very difficult week for him, but he said he's still going to be a team player. He's still going to be cheering on his teammates representing Team USA. And actually, their watch party is tonight, so they're going to be having a good time with everyone representing Team USA Luge here in Lake Placid. Um, but then on top of that, guys, if you're ever interested in Luge yourself, I actually learned something really interesting. They, a lot of times, will travel to different cities across the U.S. recruiting people because of how niche of a sport this is. So, hey, maybe you'll just have to do a couple of Google searches. Maybe they'll be coming through your town to be able to check out um, some lose yourself and maybe get in it. And I have to say, this was so much fun. And just as he described it as it's like riding a roller coaster, yes, totally true. So, Eve Hasiel, you'll have to try it someday, too. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, were you terrified? You looked calm and cool. I mean, was, how, what did it feel like? <laughs> well, it felt exactly like that. It kind of was like a, a crazier version of sledding. That's kind of the okay. best way to put it. But okay. so much fun. And it was indoors. So um, definitely a little bit better than out here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, right, just uh, one thing in your wheelhouse, Allie, figure skating is trending right now on Twitter at the Olympics. Uh, it's underway at the Capitol Indoor Stadium with men and women competing in five different events. Hello, and Team <laughs> USA is in first place. Yes. Okay. You All can't right. beat that. <laughs> All right, Allie. Well, thanks so much. We appreciate your coverage from Lake Placid this morning. It's a lot of fun. Bye, Bye guys.